We all know the vanilla beauty and the absolute beast that is Bianco Latte. She has some sisters and I think we gotta talk about them. Giardini di Toscana is an Italian fragrance house that has recently been brought to people's attention because of Bianco Latte, but they've actually been around since 1942. I always encourage people when you see a fragrance that has gone viral, please look into that fragrance house and look at other fragrances that they might have. Chances are if they have something that you really like and has gone viral, there's gonna be something else that you'll really like too. Gonna start with Bianco Latte. She is popular with good reason. If you love vanilla fragrances and you haven't smelled this one, you absolutely need to. This one is, it's vanilla caramel ice cream. It's vanilla bean specifically because to me vanilla bean and van vanilla extract smell completely different so beautiful the longevity on this is unreal this literally lasts for days on my clothes and it lasts all day on skin super creamy and decadent and for a vanilla fragrance it smells very elevated next we have my personal favorite celeste celeste is fluffy sugared violets with powdered vanilla sugar on top it has a really beautiful lightness to it even though there's a lot of sweetness vanilla it still feels really light and fresh Celeste also has incredible longevity this lasts just as long as bianco latte does for me the reason why i say this is my favorite as much as i love bianco latte i do find celeste to be more unique and i don't have anything that smells even similar to this next we have bora bora this one is a tropical creamy white floral the dry down on bora bora is more of a creamy caramelly vanilla i really like this fragrance as well but this is something that i would wear in like the winter or the spring when i want to feel like it's summer but it's not necessarily summer yet next we have almafolia the opening of this one is strong and honestly the opening completely put me off of it it wasn't until i smelled the dry down that i completely fell in love even just smelling it straight from the bottle right now smells exactly how the opening smells. To me, it smells like if you were going to the garden and cut a handful of fresh tuberos and turn them around and smell the green part of the stem. So you're getting a little whiff of the tuberos on the other side of the stem, but what you're mostly getting is that green juice from the stem. That's what the opening smells like to me, and it can be a little bit harsh for some people opening to me just has like this very fresh cut floral greenness to it in the dry down it becomes like a completely different fragrance in the dry down you still get the tuberose and a bit of jasmine but it's definitely much smoother and creamier whereas in the opening it's a big it's really punchy and green with this one i cannot emphasize enough you have to like tuberose to try this one if you do not like tuberose at all, you're not gonna like this. I love tuberose, I love jasmine. They're both in here. If you do get the chance to sample this, I really want you to wait for the dry down and see how you feel about that. I know not everyone is willing to wait for the dry down on a fragrance, but this one, I fell in love. One thing I have to say about Giardini di Toscana is the longevity on their fragrances. I have not been disappointed and they all have a really good scent bubble. So if you wanna smell good, delicious, this is a great brand to look into. Again, when something goes viral, most fragrances will go viral for a reason, but I really, really want you to look into other fragrances from those brands because sometimes your favorite one might not be the most popular one. You gotta find what works for you, your taste, your skin chemistry, and your style.